Dwayne Ross from Servants United with daily devotions from Christ in our home. For Monday, March 11th, our scripture is the 15th chapter of Exodus, verses 22 through 27. Then Moses ordered Israel to set out from the Red Sea, and they went into the wilderness of Shur. They spent three days in the wilderness and found no water. When they came to Marah, they could not drink the water of Marah because it was bitter. That is why it's called Marah. And the people complained against Moses, saying, What shall we drink? He cried out to the Lord, and the Lord showed him a piece of wood. He threw it into the water, and the water became sweet. There the Lord made for them a statue and an ordinance, and there he put them to the test. He said, If you will listen carefully to the voice of the Lord, your God, and do what is right in his sight, and give heed to his commandments, and keep all his statutes, I will not bring upon you any of the diseases that I brought upon the Egyptians, for I am the Lord who heals you. Then they came to Elam, where there were twelve springs of water and seventy palm trees, and they camped there by the water. Creation's Healing Abilities The Lord showed him a piece of wood. He threw it into the water, and the water became sweet. Verse 25 the Israelites endured three days without water and then found only non-potable, potable water. A common guideline says we can only survive about three days without water. The Israelites were in serious trouble. Moses cried out to God on behalf of the Israelites. God responded and met their needs by showing Moses a piece of wood in nature to heal nature's bitter water. The Israelites' thirst was cured. And they were saved. Dr. Terence Freedom of Lutheran Seminary commented extensively on how God has created a world in which nature's diversity can often heal itself. But as species become extinct, decreasing biodiversity, the Lord's the Earth's ecosystems lose their resilience to change and are less able to sustain health. Some people who rely most directly on nature live in persistent poverty, thus suffering the, suffering the greatest harm when environmental changes occur. God calls us to care for our human and non-human neighbors. It's vital that we protect God's awesome creation so it can sustain and heal itself and us. Our prayer. Creator and healer, thank you for making our wondrously diverse world. Help us to care for it. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen.